the prayer. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Upunatu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasmina Varida Vastu Pavitvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Heat Rub your palms, tender the heat, place your eyes, face, ears, neck, throat, slowly open your eyes. Please sit in Dandasan. Let us do giant soothing. First one, toe stretch. Proceed. One, two, three, four, and five. Ankle stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. Anchor rotation, you see clockwise five times. And anti clockwise five times. Next, lift your kneecaps up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Next, knee rotation, you see. Clockwise five times and anti clockwise five times. You change the leg, left leg, clockwise five times and anti clockwise five times. Next, interlock your fingers, hold your toes, bring your feet closer to the body, close your eyes, focus on the base of the spine. Inhale, exhale. The same awareness, please proceed for full butterfly. Both legs up and down, full swing, no jerks. Okay, slowly release and lose it up. Next, waist rotation. Proceed for clockwise and anti clockwise. Okay, next, sit in Padmasan or Vatrasan or crossed leg or any comfortable position. Okay, upper limbs exercises. First one, finger stretch. Proceed. One, two, three, four, five. Next, wrist stretch. One, two, three, Four, five. Next, wrist rotation. Proceed clockwise five times. One, two, three, four, five. Anti clockwise. Next, 
the shelbo flex on 2 3 4 5 okay next shoulder rotation to see clockwise and anti clockwise 1 2 3 4 5 and anti clockwise 1 2 3 4 5 Okay. Next, right elbow up. Interlock your palm behind and stay there. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Slowly release. Next, left elbow up. Interlock your palms behind. You can use yoga uh, towel, rope, ribbon, or yoga belt. Stay there. One, two, three, <coughs> four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, <coughs> twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Slow re release. <coughs> Okay. Next, go for punches. Proceed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <coughs> Okay, next, left palm, you hold your right wrist. Please push it up and down. One, two, four, five. Next, right palm, you hold your left wrist. Please push it up and down. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> Okay. Next, interlock your fingers. Place over the abdomen. Shoulder movements: forward and backward five times. One, only right shoulder. Two, three, four, five. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Next, left shoulder. One, two, three, four. Five backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Next. Proceed. One, two, three, four, five. Backwards. One, two. Three, four, five. Then left shoulder. Proceed. One, two, three, four, five. Backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Next, extend your bicep, triceps. Feel the stretch. Next, left shoulder. Next, 
the fingers. One, two, three, four, and five. Sideways. One, two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> okay, next neck exercises. Proceed. Type one. Inhale, neck up. Exhale, down. One, two, three, four, and five. Next type two, side by side. Please proceed. One, two, three, four, and five. Next type three, so left and right. Please proceed. One, two, three, four, and five. Next, neck rotation. Proceed clockwise, anti clockwise. Anti Okay, next, turn to the right side, give good twisting, right palm on the ground. Come to center, to the left side. Okay, come to center. So if you are sitting in Vajrasana for a longer time, release your Vajrasana step by step. To the right, to the left. Center up on the knees, back to Vajrasan, release your legs one by one. Loosen up your ankles, loosen up your legs sideways, yes, stretch your ankles, just up and down. Let's come to standing position. Let us do Surya Namaskar. <clears throat> come to front of the mat, feet together, hands in Namaste position. Proceed. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
đây Eleven and twelve. Okay, let's just do one more round. Come to front of the mat, feet together, hands in namaste position. Please proceed. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, let's do final round. Come to front of the mat, feet together. Hands in namaste position. Proceed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, let us do final round. Come to front of the mat, feet together, hands in namaste position. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve. Okay. Close your eyes, feet apart, palms open. Observe the changes in the body, mind, breath, energy, and blood circulation before Surya Namaskar and after Surya Namaskar. Okay, once you relax enough, 
slowly open your eyes. Come to sitting position. <clears throat> Come to the back side of the mat. So let us do upward dog and downward dog. Sit in Madrasal. Okay. Lean forward. Extend your elbows. Walk on the fingers. Extend your biceps, triceps. Get a good grip of the ego mat. Then sit on the toes. Again, extend, walk on the fingers. Extend your elbows. Okay. Now, go to the downward dog position. Look in line with your hands. Do not look down towards abdomen. Look in line with your hands. So, this is a downward dog posture. Okay. Go to the upward dog. One. With inhale, go to the upward dog. Knees off the ground. Back to downward dog. Two. Back to downward dog. Three. Back to downward dog. Four. Back to downward dog. And five. Okay. Relax in child posture. Keep breathing normal. Once you relax and up, slowly come back to sitting position. Release the Madrasan. Slowly come back to vertical position. Okay, next we will do sectional breathing. So, first one is, <clears throat> before that, the mudras. Okay? So, mudras are nothing but physical gestures. First one is chin mudra. Next, chinmay mudra. Next, adi mudra. And then, brahma mudra. So, these are the four mudras. And then, fifth one is nashika mudra. Like this. We are going to do sectional breathing. Okay? So, please sit in madrasan. Close your eyes. Keep your spine straight. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Keep your spine straight. Now keep your palms in chin mudra. <clears throat> palms in chin mudra. Palms facing downwards. Keep your palms on the thighs. So we are going to do abdominal breathing. So focus on the abdominal with inhale and also with exhale, focus on the abdomen. Okay, for five times. One. Two, three, four, and five. Next, change the palm position to Chinmay Mudra. The remaining three fingers will be closed. Only the tip of the four finger and tip of the thumb will be touching each other. The remaining three fingers are closed. Palms facing downwards. Now we are going to focus on the chest. Okay. Thoracic breathing. With inhale and exhale. So say one, two, three, four, and five. Next. Change the palm position to Adi Mudra. Make fist with your both hands. Keep your palms on the thighs. 
So palms are in Adi Mudra. Now focus on the shoulder bones. Okay. With inhale and exhale. With inhale, lift your collarbone now. And with exhale, bring down your collarbone. Okay. Let us proceed for five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we have learned abdomen, abdominal breathing, thoracic breathing, and clavicular breathing. Next one is full yogic breathing. Make fist with your both hands, bring your both palms together. When both palms come together, it's called Brahma Mudra. Individual hands are in Adi Mudra. So now we are going to focus on abdomen, chest, clavicular with inhale. And also while you exhale, abdomen, chest, and clavicular. Proceed for five times. One, two, Three, four, and five. Okay, and keep your palms on the thighs. So it is called full yogic breathing. It's very, very good technique to calm down your mind, especially once you return from office. You can sit in full yogic breathing for five minutes so that it will break the cycle of thoughts happening since morning. Okay, then release your Vajrasana slowly. Okay, open your eyes, adjust your ankles, loosen up your ankles, loosen up your legs. Okay, next, <clears throat> sit in Padmasana. Sit in Padmasana. So, so next we are going to do Surya and Lo Vilom Pranayam. Okay. So you have to make Nasika Mudra with your right hand. Close your left nostril all the time. Inhale, exhale only from the right nostril. So it is good for, for weight loss and also it will improve your metabolism. Okay. Those who feel depressed, they can practice this technique 27 times morning, afternoon, evening and night before food. It is very, very good technique for those who feel depressed. Okay. So let us do for five times. Make Nasika Mudra with your right hand. Keep your eyes closed. Spine straight. Close your left nostril. Inhale, exhale from the right nostril for the five times. One. Prolong your inhale and prolong your exhale. Two. Three. Four. And five. Bring your right hand down. Next, Chandra and Lo Vilom Pranayam. Make Nasika Mudra with the right hand. Close your right nostril all the time. Inhale, exhale from the only left nostril. Proceed one, two, three, four. Four and five. Bring your right hand down. So Chanda and Lomilom Pranayam is very good for those who feel anxiety. They can practice this technique 27 times morning, afternoon, evening, and night before food. Okay. It is good for gaining the weight. Okay. Those who are obese, they should not practice. Chandra and Lo Milam Pranayam. Okay. Next. Kapal Bhati, brisk breathing. Okay. Kapal Bhati, brisk breathing. Let us proceed. Only exhale. Inhale is passive. We should not inhale. The inhale happens automatically between exhale and other exhale. Okay. Let us proceed at your own phase.
and keep breathing normal. Let us do Kapalpati. Brisk breathing one more round. Only exhale. Inhale is passive. Inhale happens automatically and it's gone. Okay? Please proceed. Keep breathing normal. Okay, next. Let us do cooling pranayams. Sitali pranayam. So, for Sitali pranayam, you need to roll your tongue like peak of a crow. If you cannot roll your tongue like that, you can just keep your tongue over the lower lips, open your mouth partially, keep your tongue over the lower lips. You are going to inhale to the mouth, close your mouth, exhale to the nostrils. So in all cooling pranayams, you are going to inhale to the mouth, exhale to the nostrils. Okay? So when you inhale to the mouth, you are making the, making the inhale, temperature, inhale, temperature reduced. Okay? Let us proceed. One, two, Three, you will feel cool hair going inside and warm air coming out. Four, five, okay, so that is called Sitali Pranayam. Next one is Sitkari Pranayam. In Sitkari Pranayam, roll your tongue so that the tip of the tongue goes inside and, uh, and you ro roll, the tongue will come between the lower teeth and upper teeth, okay? The tongue will come in between and tip of the tongue goes inside. You are going to inhale to the sides of the tongue, then close your mouth, exhale to the nostrils, okay? In all cooling pranayam, we are going to inhale to the mouth because when you eat something spicy, we will feel like this, right? So similarly, that's why we do. That is our natural process. Whenever we eat chili, right? We will inhale to the mouth. That is natural process. So that's how cooling pranayams. We inhale only to the mouth and close your mouth. Exhale to the nostrils. Okay. Next one is Sitkari Pranayam. Roll your tongue. The tongue comes between the lower teeth and upper teeth and tip of the tongue goes inside. Okay. Let us proceed one. So you are going to inhale to the sides of the tongue. Close your mouth. Exhale to the nostrils. Proceed two. Three, four, and five. Okay. So the Sitkari Pranayam, who should not practice? If you are missing teeth, you should not practice Sitkari Pranayam. Okay. Next, Sadhanta Pranayam. The Sadhanta Pranayam, clean your teeth. Lower teeth and upper teeth will touch each other. Tip of the tongue goes behind your lower teeth so that it doesn't block the passage between lower teeth and upper teeth. You are going to inhale to the crevices of the teeth, close your mouth, exhale to the nostrils. Okay, let us proceed for five times. One, two, three, Four, and five. Okay. So these are the three cooling pranayams we have. And cooling pranayams, in general, you should not practice when you go to the snow regions or when your temperature is in minus, minus degrees. Okay. So avoid doing cooling pranayams during the very winter season. Okay, next, Agnisar, stomach flapping. Okay, 
So look in front, exhale, and proceed for stomach flapping. No inhale, no exhale during the flapping. You have to pull in your stomach, then push out. Wait for a fraction of a second and pull in slowly and push out abruptly. Okay, let us proceed at your own face. This is the posture and look up, you should inhale. Let us do one more round. Agni sir, stomach flapping. Elbows pointing away from the body. Look in front, exhale and proceed for stomach flapping. Release the posture and look up, you should inhale. Keep your spine straight all the time. Next, Udhyan Man, three laps. Okay? We are going to look in front, exhale, and you will, you will do three laps. First one is Chin Lak, is called Jalandar Man. Next, Abdominal Lak, is called Udhyan Man. And Enal Lak, is called Mula Man. Let us proceed. Look in front, exhale, and proceed for three laps at your own pace. No inhale, no exhale during the, during the laps. Release the posture and look up. You should inhale. Let us do one more round. Udhyan Ban, three locks. Look in front, exhale and proceed for three locks. Release the posture and look up. You should inhale. Okay. Next, why is a burping technique? Okay. You have to inhale to the mouth. Okay. Then gulp it, swallow it, so that part of it goes into the stomach. Then close your mouth, exhale to the nostrils. So it completes one round. So repeat like this until you feel like you cannot inhale anymore. Okay. Then Use your tip of the fingers, slightly apply the pressure to your lower abdomen. Okay? Please proceed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Your slightly up the pressure to lower abdomen, the tip of the fingers, and then interlock your fingers, place on the abdomen. With slightly applying the pressure, rotate clockwise five times and anti clockwise five times. So, it is very good technique to remove excessive wind in the stomach and also it will remind you about burping if you forgot. Okay, then slowly release the posture. Okay, next, <clears throat> Bastrika Pranayam. Okay, so close your eyes. With inhale, you raise your hands up and exhale, make fish with your both hands and bring down the palm facing downwards. Okay, let us proceed for five times. One, two, three, four, 
and fat. Okay, so this is called Bhatsika Pranaya. So it will improve your lung capacity. Next one, Ujjayi breathing. By applying the friction at your throat, you are going to inhale and exhale. Okay, let us proceed for five times. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay. Next, make mudra like this. The four finger and middle finger are open. The remaining three fingers are touching each other. Okay. Keep your palms open, palms facing the ceiling. We are going to inhale, exhale for five times. Prolong your inhale, prolong your exhale. One, two, three. Four and five. Okay. Next, Nadi Shuddhi or Anulom Vilom Pranayam or alternate breathing. Okay. Make Nasiko Mutra with the right hand. Close your right, right nostril. Inhale from the left only for the first time. Exhale from the left only for the first time. Then inhale from the left, close left, open your right, exhale from the right nostril. It completes off front. Now keep your right nostril open, inhale from the right, close right, open your left, exhale from the left nostril. So it completes one round. Proceed for eight more rounds. Two, three, Three, so do not make any sounds, prolong your inhale and prolong your exhale, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine. Always you need to end with the exhale from the left nostril. Next to Brahmari for five times. Once you are done with the Brahmari, bring your hands down. Okay. We are going to inhale and with the exhale, we are going to chant Makara sound. Okay. Proceed for five times. Mm. Give your hands down. Okay. Next, let us do Nadana Sandar meditation. Okay. Keep your eyes closed, spine straight, sitting Padmasan. So, if you are not aware of mudras, just keep your palms above the knees. If you are uh, able to follow about the mudras, then you can follow my instructions with about mudras. Okay. First one is Chin Mudra. Keep your palms facing towards the ceiling. 
tip of the four finger and tip of the thumb will touch each other. Okay. We are going to inhale and while exhaling we will chant Akara. Okay. Let us proceed. One. Ah. Uh, two. Ah. Uh, In the palm position, the chin may mudra. The remaining three fingers are closed. Tip of the fourth finger and tip of the thumb will continue to touch each other. Next, we are going to do inhale and while exhaling, we are chanting Pukara. Okay, proceed one. Two. Next, stay in the palm position. Make fist with your both hands. Individual hands are on the knees. Okay. Make fist with your both hands individually. We are going to inhale and ex while exhale, we chant Makara. Okay. So this Makara is very, very important. Let us proceed on. Two. So bring your both palms together. We are going to chant Akara, Ukara, Makara while exhaling. Okay? Please proceed. One. Uh, Two. Uh, keep your palms in Chin Mudra. Visualize the God, flavor, object, your Ishta Devata, or your favorite person in the form of the light. At the center of the heart, not physical heart, meditation heart. Okay, visualize. On top of the top, meditation disappears. We have been in a meditative state. Meditation is something which cannot be done. It is a state to be achieved with no thoughts. When you become yourself, the object of meditation will become one with the universe, which will help to lead to the higher level dimensions in spirituality. Inhale, exhale, 
not open your eyes let us end the session with a prayer bring your both palms in the namaste position inhale om bhagavata om satsangu varyam parto devasya dimahi niyo yoda tachodaya inhale Om Shanti 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 He. Rub your palms. Then let the heat place your eyes, face, ears, neck, throat. Slowly blink your eyes. Look at the floor. And slowly look up. Okay. Thanks, Irwan. Thanks for joining. Have a nice day. So tomorrow we'll meet at seven thirty. Okay, bye bye. Thanks, Indy. Thank you.